Hi, my name is Ashley, um, and I'm here to talk about how making can unleash your superpower. So just as a warning, this is not a uh, story about a tight-wearing, neon-colored, cape-donning vigilante here to save us from a certain mayor who has poor judgment. Instead, this is actually a little bit bigger than that. Um, no making can't uh, give you superhuman strength. Um, 3D printing isn't laden with gamma rays and uh, undertaking large blocks of code can't make you have um, Hulkian capacities. But I think it's actually capable of doing a whole lot more. Um, let's take a second to understand the words first. So super, as defined by the internet, super is the ability to articulate a trait to the superior quality. And power, power is defined as the capacity of doing or accomplishing something with great might or force or capacity. The two definitions come together beautifully to clarify the task of um, exhibiting an act of great talent with great execution, simply. Um, already the definition seems a little less superhuman and a little bit more tangible. Um, the truth is, is that everyone has superpowers and many people have more than one superpower. Um, you might not know what your superpower is right away, many people don't. Um, but because it's not as simple as listing the things that you're good at, so cooking isn't necessarily a superpower, um, talking isn't necessarily, necessarily a superpower. Uh, if you've watched any sort of superhero movie that's good, you'll realize that the hero doesn't necessarily know what their superhero power is in the very beginning. They have to go undertake a series of trials and tribulations before they can discover what their power is. So it's more than just listing the skills that you're good at. Otherwise, they wouldn't make origin movies if that was all it took to discover what your power was. Um, so what does this have to do with making? So I get asked what the definition of making is a lot, like maybe twice a day. I've come up with a definition that I think is pretty clear. Making is a process of using multiple skills, design, conceptualization, construction, DIY, et cetera, to create something that tests and challenges and expands your creative potential to communicate or express yourself. So that's a pretty big undertaking, and all of those tools that I listed are kind of like your utility belt. Making is hard, and it's challenging, and that's why we do it. That's why we bother to put ourselves under these intense stresses of creative creativity. Because it stretches our innovative parameters, and it makes space for new ways of thinking, new ways of designing, new ways of building, and new ways of connecting ideas. In the world of making, unlocking your superpower is a battle not had with a darkly dressed villain, but rather had with your own like regularly scheduled parameters of thinking. The premise here being that undertaking difficult and often long feats of creative strengths results in an outcome that's more than just a cool 3D printed object, although that is one of the awesome perks. In amongst all of those new accomplishments lies a new superpower or two. So I'm gonna make uh, the concept a little more clear with some examples. So I'm gonna start with um, exhibit A. So let's call this girl Sarah. So a nine-year-old girl in elementary school, um, she struggled with math through the entirety of elementary school. Um, taught from a textbook amongst a classroom of people who she felt really got it, she just felt like she, she, felt like she slipped by the wayside. And she started to formulate a list of I can'ts, math being number one. Um, in high school, she added physics to that list of I can'ts as well. Fast forward three years later to first year university in her interactive design class. Um, the assignment is to write a programming sketch that animates the character to mimic the motions of a bird. So stressed and frustrated at the realization that this arts program she had signed up for is riddled with all these things from her I can'ts list, she sort of struggled and reluctantly um, got through the assignment. Uh, and you know what? The uh, funny thing about it is that when um, slopes and gravities and speeds are listed in um, tangible, visible outcomes, like the motion of an animated character on a screen, or even the motion of a robot on the floor, they're actually much better and much easier to understand than an equation by itself. Um, now, although at the surface level it might seem like the superpower she unlocked was the capacity to understand math or the capacity to understand physics, but it's actually a lot more than that. She unlocked an understanding that deep down within her, um, under the right spectrum, is the capacity to, to learn through creative problem solving. Um, that girl was me, by the way, and uh, I don't have any more lists of I can'ts um, these days. Uh, now I spend a lot of my time helping um, kids unlock their superpower because like, why wait till university to figure out what um, those true, deep, core skills of yours are? 
The beauty of what I've discovered here is that um, there's more at play in these origin stories of these superheroes than um, just understanding, a like creating a solid understanding of what subjects you learn in school. If we just take a moment to think about it, um, obviously there's no doubt uh, that a battle with a 3D printer can leave you victorious with a clear understanding of geometry, or that a nasty alleyway run in with an impenetrable block of code can conquer you spoils so great that the language of um, math and science and English itself can be heightened. But uh, just like our brightly colored crime fighting friends, um, superpowers come in all shapes and sizes. So I'm going to give you another case study. His name is Miles. Um, he's pretty much an educational write-off by his professors or by his teachers. He was um, seven years old. Uh, so his teachers deemed him um, disinterested, um, a child who wouldn't be able to focus, somebody who um, doesn't have any follow-through or passion for what they're doing. Uh, with some sort of desperate attempt to get him interested in anything, his parents signed him up for a robotics class that I happened to be teaching. What transpired was nothing short of gamma ray induced Hulkian success. He built a phenomenal robot and spent hours before his classes at school working on it, after his classes at school working on it. He came early, he stayed late to my classes, just building this incredible robot. Um, and it definitely wasn't easy. I don't want to make it sound like it was easy at all because there were tears, because I was there. There were tears, and there might have even been the occasional LED thrown at the wall. But um, it was very Hulkian. But uh, the outcome was in an invaluable, innate sense of self-worth and validation. Um, not only did he uh, figure out that he had the capacity to follow through, but he also realized that perhaps in the parameters of his school-structured learning, it wasn't necessarily the best way for him to learn um, that he had, these, uh, determina had this determination and perseverance inside. Uh, Cecile is another example I also would like to talk about. She um, was a bit different. So the day before her workshop, um, her parents emailed me saying that uh, she was socially challenged and the email was just riddled with things like this. Um, they just wanted to give me a heads up that Cecile would be difficult to work with. So this invisible girl um, had simply never immersed, um, had simply never been immersed in an environment filled with other girls who also like to nerd out to technology. So in these uh, hackathons that she attended, she became um, a group leader, she became the forerunner of the, of the learning experience, and oftentimes helped other girls learn how to learn as well. So her superpower that she unlocked was this uh, almost instinctual in, uh, leadership when it came to helping people, as long as we're in the field of technology. So this was obviously a huge, a huge deal to her, a huge deal to her parents. Her parents came um, to the first workshop and like left in tears because they had never seen her ever make a friend before. So uh, I think it was pretty monumental for everybody involved. So making or undergoing intense innovative endeavors that test your intellectual and creative security forces you to get frustrated. It forces you to reach into that utility belt and pull out all of those tools that you've been kind of tucking away. You need to use like, those tools like you're working with your hands, uh, your intellectual cognitive skills, um, your social collaborative skills, and the challenge leaves you at the end standing as the dust falls unveiling realizations about your superpower, your true skills, your truest, most unique, most valuable abilities. And just as those Cape Crusaders take to the streets just for the sake of the common good, um, I'd like to quote one of my favorite maker quotes. It doesn't matter what you make and it doesn't matter why, just as long as you're making something. Um, I'd like to add that uh, making reveals your superpower and that is reason enough to make. So thanks very much.